Hello everyone, I am Prajul Agarwal and today we are going to discuss this problem sorting tool. This problem is written as easy on code chef and you need to know how to sort an array to solve this. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and then come back and see the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given an array A with n elements. So we are given n elements representing an array A, A1, A2 till A of n. Now our aim is to sort this array A such that let's say there are two elements Ai and Aj. Then Ai occurs before Aj in the sorted sequence if frequency of A of i which is the number of times A of i occurs in this sequence A is greater than frequency of A of j. In this case, a of i will be placed before a of j in the sorted sequence. Now, there may, might be a case that the frequency is exactly the same. Then in that case, we will see which element occurred first in the input array. So basically, we will see the index of a of i. So a of i will be placed before a of j if index of a of i is less than index of a of j. So our first priority is to check the frequency and the second is to check the index. For example, consider this array A. 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 4. Now, in this case, we know that 4 occurs maximum number of times. Hence, we will place 4 in the front. So in the sorted sequence, we will get first all the 4s because the number of occurrence is more than the number of occurrence of 2 and the number of occurrence of 3. Next is 2 and 3. So we know that 2 occurs 2 times and 3 occurs twice. So the frequency is exactly the same. Hence we will go to the second priority which is the index. So the index of 2 which is 0 is less than the index of 3 which is 1. We will see the first occurrence of 2 and 3. So 2 is placed before 3 in the input array. Hence we will place 2 first and then we will place 3. So this is our final sorted sequence. We have to print this in the output. In the constraints, we are given n from 1 to 1000. And it is given that all these elements a of i will be less than equal to some m. This m is given in the input. In the constraints, this can range from 1 to 10 to the power 5. Now let us look at some example. So in the first example, we are given n is equal to 7 and m is equal to 3. This means that all the elements will be less than or equal to 3. In the array A, we are given 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2. The number of occurrence of 1 is 1. The number of occurrence of 2 is 3. And the number of occurrence of 3 is 3. So we know that we have to first see the frequency. So these two elements have the highest frequency. But 2 occurs before 3 in the input array. Hence, we will place 2 first. So in the sorted sequence, we will get 2, 2, 2. And then this gets eliminated and we have only two numbers, 1 and 3. Now we will sort by frequency. So we will place 3 first and then 1. So guys, try to do the same thing for the second test case yourself. Moving on to the solution. So in this problem, we are given an array A of n elements a1, a2 till a of n and we are given that a of i is less than or equal to m. Our goal is to sort this array first on the basis of frequency of elements. The elements that occur higher in frequency is placed first and second by the index of the element. So now to do this let us first create the frequency and the index array. Basically, let us create two arrays. Frequency array. This is of size m where frequency of i is equal to the number of occurrences of i in a and index of i indicates the index of first occurrence of i in a. 
basically this will count the number of times some element i occurs in this a and index will indicate the first index of the first occurrence of i in a we know that a of i is less than or equal to m hence both these areas will be of size m now to create these arrays we can just iterate over i is equal to 0 to n to create the frequency array we will just increment frequency of a of i by 1 and for index array we will check if the value of index of a of i is equal to minus 1 or not let us initialize this array with minus 1 initially so if it is equal to minus 1 then we know that we have found the first occurrence and we will update the index of a of i is equal to i so now the next time when we get a of i this will not get executed because the index of a i a of i would not be equal to minus 1 so we have the first occurrence so now we have created our frequency array and the index array now our goal is to sort the array to do this we will use custom sorting so every programming language has an inbuilt sort function this sort function traditionally sorts by comparing two integers for integer arrays for example if we have two integers 2 and 3 then it will place 2 before and 3 afterwards because 2 is less than 3 instead of this we are going to choose our own function so instead of checking this the program the sorting function will actually check our own function let's call this function as sorter and when this function returns true the elements 2 and 3 will remain the same else they, it will flip so now we will write this function sorter this function accepts two parameters a comma b these are nothing but elements from a and we have to write the true condition such that a is placed before b so the first condition is based on the frequency so we will check that if frequency of a is not equal to frequency of b this means that frequency of a is not equal to frequency of b hence from frequency we can determine the order of a comma b so the order of a comma b is that a will be placed before b if frequency of a is greater than frequency of b basically this means that the sort function assumes that a will be placed before b so if this is true we have to pass a true value to do this we will pass the condition such that a is placed before b which is frequency of a is greater than frequency of b and if the frequency is same then we know that we have to check the indexes so we will just return the true condition which is index of a is less than index of b so now we will pass this function into our sort function so for c++ we can simply write sort a dot begin a dot end and we will pass a third parameter which is this sorter function for python we can simply write sort a and we will pass a variable key and this will be nothing but the sorter function the time complexity of this algorithm is order n log n because most sorting functions are order n log n note that all these comparisons are order 1 the space complexity is order n plus m because we have to store the initial array a and the frequency and the index array which is of size m moving on to the code so we start by creating the arrays frequency and index then we create the frequency array by incrementing it by 1 for every error i and similarly for every index when it is equal to minus 1 we know that we have our first occurrence of error i so we update our index of error i as equal to i now we sort the function and we will pass this sorter function as the third argument the sorter function is defined over here it will return a bool and accepts two variable a and b now we have to write the true condition such that a is placed before b which is 
that frequency of A should be greater than frequency of B if the frequencies are not the same. If the frequencies are same, then we will just return index of A should be less than index of B. And finally, we will print our answer. So this is pretty much the whole code. Try to code it yourself. And if you face any issue, then come back and see it again. Moving on to the code. This code has been written in Python 3.6. So we start by creating our frequency and index array and updating our frequency array by one for every a of i and for index we will check whether the index of a of i is not equal to minus one or not if it is equal to minus one we know that we have our first occurrence and we update our index as a of i equals one i now we have our sorter function it accepts two parameters a and b if the frequencies are not the same and the frequency of a is greater than frequency of b we will return minus one in Python, for true conditions, we return minus one, and for false conditions, we return one. If the frequency of A is less than frequency of B, which means that the order A and B is not correct, so we return one. Similarly, we will check that if the index of A is less than index of B, when the frequencies are same. So, if it is same, then we know that this is the correct order, and we return minus one. Else, we will return one. Finally, we will sort A as A dot sort, and we pass this key parameter, which is a sort of function now in python 3.6 we have to compare we have to convert this function into a key using this function from func tools finally we will print the array so guys this is pretty much the whole code and this passes all the test cases so guys i hope you understood the problem clearly if you have any questions drop a comment in the comment section like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from codechef thank you and goodbye